Hi, it's Elder, and today let's talk about CMS solutions for Blocks app. First of all, if you don't know what Blocks is, Blocks is a visual web design tool for Mac which lets you build beautiful websites without touching a line of code. And CMS stands for Content Management System and it allows you to make edits to your website without opening your web design platform, without opening blocks in this case. Even though I have been using blocks for a long time, I have never tried any of the supported CMS platforms. And there were many reasons for that. And well, without being disrespectful to the developers of these platforms, these were not made specifically for blogs and I didn't feel at the time that they were worth trying. But that has changed a few weeks ago when the developer, and he is actually a member of our blogs community, he has developed and released the new CMS platform developed specifically for blogs websites. It's called Vault CMS and in this video I'm going to show you how to use it. And at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you my verdict on what I think about it. And for people who might be interested in purchasing the Vault CMS, I will also provide the discount code at the end of this video. So let me quickly show you how to install, set up and use Vault CMS. So when you download it to a computer, you will have five BEX files. Three of them are bricks and two of them are blocks. So let's open all of these files inside the blocks application and it will ask you five times because we have five files. Just press return five times and it will be installed. So I will be editing the blocks templates website and I will be creating a new page where I add these CMS capabilities. But before doing so, let's see what kind of blocks and bricks we have installed right now. So let's open the brick bar and type vault. And as you can see, we have three new bricks, vault content, vault core and vault gallery. And I will explain how to use them in a second. Let's also add a couple of blocks we have installed. So we have vault login and vault logout. We will use this for login page a little bit later. So uh, first thing we need to do when setting up the vault CMS for a website, we need to go to global area. So anywhere under the blue line and place the vault core brick. So I recommend to place it somewhere in the footer. So let's type vault and I will select the vault core. And by doing so and clicking on this brick, we get to the settings for vault CMS. And there are a few things we need to set up here. First of all, and most importantly, we need to change the authentication settings. So basically we need to create the login information. And I'm going to create the one user, it will be me, so I will type the name Elder. And I need to type the password here, but I can't type the clear text, the plain text. I need to put the hash code. And there are many generators you can use online to generate the hash code. And the developer himself, I think, provided the link to his own, but I'm going just to use the one here and I'm going to type the password elder. So it will be the same as my username and I will click hash and this is the code I need to copy. Go back to blocks and put it next to my username. There are also a couple of other options. For example, we can enable the local host preview and it is enabled by default, but for this to work, we need to go to project settings and put the URL for our website. So I already have it here, so it will be working fine. Then we can disable or enable the daily backups. I will leave it as it is. And we can change the user interface of our editor. I will be using English. And we can add some styles for our images and text. And I'm going to add them in a sec, but first let's take a look at the other section here 
and it is for scaling of the images. So I'm not going to use this now, but if you want, you can check this and all of the images you upload, which are higher than 2000 pixels width and height, they will be downscaled. So like I said, I'm going to add a couple of styles here. So for image, I will have the shadow and for text, I will have, let's say black text and red text just to show you the difference. And after typing the styles here, I need to create them. So to create a style in blocks, we can just open the class manager and type what we have created here. Let's add the black text and let's add the red text and they will be here in the bottom so for shadow let's create the shadow for our image so it will be just a regular shadow like this I'll, i will make it visible so you can see when i apply it and for the black text i will be just adding the black color to the typography settings and for the red text i will be just adding the red color to the typography settings so that's it for the settings i just created one username and i added a couple of styles uh, next thing we need to do is to create the login page so i will be going to page navigator and let's type login you can name it what you want admin login config whatever you want i will just use login i will not include this into primary menu and now we are on the login page we need to add two blocks here so first of all we need to add the login block and underneath the login block we will add the logout block and we can change the design a little bit for example for the buttons i will be adding the buttons i'm using for my website here so it is more beautiful and in addition to creating the login page i will also create the new let's say about me page and i'm not going to use this in the primary menu because this is the test web page i'm going to create a simple structure here so let's use the regular block and i'm going to have an image on one side and i'm going to have the content on another side like this and underneath this i will actually add another block or maybe just let's add another row and inside here we will well let's have just one column and i will add the gallery so let's type the title of this section i will name this section gallery so next thing we need to do here is to add the content bricks so I'm going to have the gallery here and I'm going to have the image here and the text here. So to add the content, all we need to do is add the vault content bricks. So you can place as many as you want. I will place one here and one here. And for the gallery, I'm going to place one under the title here. You can place as many bricks as you want, but you need to make sure that all of these bricks have their unique name. So click on each of the bricks you added and type the name for this content brick. So this will be... And I'm typing about me because it is about me page. So it's easier for me to remember. And for the gallery, I will type about me gallery. So that's all we need to do inside our blocks application now i will upload this to the server and see how it looks so we have uploaded the files to our server now let's go to the about me page we have created about me.html and as you can see at the moment we don't have any content at all we only see the gallery section title which i added manually but if we go to the login page we also created login html now as you can see we get this login page and we don't see the logout block but if we type the elder for the name and for the title you can see that it is logged in now and we only seeing the logout block 
So now let's go back to the about me page. As you can see in the top left corner, we now see these two icons. One is logout and one is edit. So let's click on edit. And as you can see, we now see three elements, three sections we have made in blocks app. As you remember, these are the three sections we made editable. So let's go back here and for about me image, I will be uploading image. And as you can see, we get this nice looking toolbox, I guess. And here we have the image. So let's click on image icon and upload a new image here. So it will be myself. So let's find Elder JPG. I think I have some images and maybe something, well, something like this. And after it's uploaded, we can just click insert and it will be inserted into our column here. As for the text, let's type something like about elder and I will copy some text from the page here so I don't need to type it. We'll quickly copy that and place here like that. And yeah, for the gallery section, we can just select it. And as you can see, we only get the image button. So let's click on image and upload a few of the images. And using this toolbox, we can select different text. We can change the size. We can change how bold or not bold it is. We can maybe use some of the predefined functions here. We can also, for example, create links here. If we select the text, click on this little link icon, we can place the links like this, click like that. And as you can see, we can also place some videos, tables and other content. But once we're done, we can click on the green OK button. And as you remember, we actually added a couple of styles to our a couple of styles to our text and images. If we scroll down here, as you remember, we had the shadow and black text and red text. OK, so let's go back and select the image. And if we click on this IMG button here in the bottom corner, left corner, we get some of the styles here. And as you can see, we have the shadow, the one I have created myself. So if I enable it and click apply, this image now has the shadow. And for the text as well, let's select this text and click on this. Now we have the red text and black text here. So let's enable the red text and click apply. Let's select this and click on the black text and click apply. And as you can see now, this text is black. And we can do the same for all other, uh, all other text and it will change the color how we want. We can make it red, but I don't think we need red text here. We can just make it black like this. Yeah, uh, this is how you work on this page. And after you're done, you just click check again and then you can click on this logout button. And voila, your website is updated. Now you have the image, the shadow. You have this text and the gallery section. If you click on the gallery, you also get the images in full size. And you can see we have the caption here. I think that inside this vault core brick, we had the option of disabling the image captions in Lightbox. So if you don't want, for example, to have this text here, caption, you can disable it here. So that's it for the Vault CMS. This is how you use it. And once again, if you go back to the login page, you can just log in again. You are logged in, but you don't really see the core block. We place it in the footer. You can see this edit button unless you are on the page, which has the content bricks we placed. So if we go back to about me, you can see that we get two of these buttons again. So we can log in from any browser, any device and change something. For example, blocks templates and let's make this text 
as you can see there is a bug here because it is not red text now it should be black but for some reason it still thinks that it is red so there are small bugs like this sometimes so when i have some problems like this i will delete this and i will type that again and if i make this big and enable the black text this time it will be working fine as you can see vault cms doesn't have a lot of options and features at the moment but I think the developer of Vault CMS does a great job focusing on what's important, on core functionality, on simplicity and stability. I'm not saying that Vault CMS is perfect at the moment and it is in the early stages of development and I noticed the small bugs here and there but most of the time I didn't notice any critical errors and the solution was very stable in my opinion. But of course there is one big thing missing at the moment and it is something we all would like to see and it is the blogging functionality. And the good news is the developers have announced that they are working on bringing the blogging functionality to Vault CMS later this year and it will be cool to be able to add blog posts to our blog's websites without opening the blog's application every time. And finally, I would like to stress that I'm not sponsored by the developers of Vault CMS in any way. And in fact, I asked them to provide the discount coupon for my audience. So if you are considering purchasing the Vault CMS, you can use uh, this discount code at checkout to get 10% off. And I believe this code is only uh, valid until March 31st. I just want to help the developer of Vault CMS and you who might be looking for the CMS solution for blogs because I truly believe that Vault CMS can be this CMS solution you are looking for. So uh, that's it for this video and once again if you liked it please give it the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this and I will talk to you in the next video.